I got my mix. Ooh, we doing this on dry hair. It got in my eye. It's okay now, it's okay. Hey loves. <clears throat> wow. Hey loves, my name is Latoya Ebony. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, stick around, look around, subscribe. I've got a ton of natural hair care videos with tips, tricks, and hairstyles to make your hair grow and look healthy, luscious, fabulous. And I'm just here for you. So a few weeks ago, I did this video where I tried a wash and go for the very first time and you guys loved it. Actually, you guys have left me a ton of advice. But before I get into this, let me make this disclaimer. Just because I happen to try a hairstyle doesn't mean I don't love my hair. I love my shrinkage. I don't care that it gets dry because I know how to fix that. I love I love everything about my hair. It's taken me a long way, like a long time to get here. And now that I'm here, I ain't going nowhere. So going back to my last video, you guys left me a lot of suggestions and I absolutely love it. You guys are hair ninjas. You guys were mentioning things I had never even heard about. The Anthony Dickey method, Max Hydration method, the Black Curl Magic Digital Salon. Y'all y'all were giving me life in the comments so continue to do that because today you will be rewarded because I am going to follow the max hydration method okay I'm tired of talking let's get into this so what's the max hydration method It's a method that is supposed to be really good at hydrating low porosity hair my hair is low porosity that means that the cuticle of my hair on my hair shaft is closed so there's not a lot of moisture that can get in but it also does a pretty good job of retaining moisture if it can get put in there. So this method is supposed to open the cuticle so that I can receive all of the nutrients and all of the moisture. It starts with a pre-step of the Cherry Lola Caramel Treatment. So what are some of the ingredients? Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, three fourth tablespoons of an avocado, two tablespoons of raw liquid aminos, one egg, two cups of Greek yogurt, a half a spoon of raw honey, a half a tablespoon of molasses, unsulfured, two tablespoons of baking soda, and half of a banana or plantain. You're supposed to mix all of this up and then apply it to your hair dry. I got my plastic cap, I got my mix. And so I'm in the shower doing this because I know this is about to get everywhere. It's super runny. Let's do this. You better not fall. Here we go. It's cold. Be brave. Ooh, we doing this on dry hair. Just like a direction says. <sighs> so glad I'm in the shower for this because it is literally falling everywhere. That beautiful sound. Oh, I just found a banana chunk. All right, now we gotta get down in the nitty gritty. Now I do have a problematic scalp, so the girl is trying not to get it on the scalp. But I do want to make sure it's, you know, we're hydrating all the areas. Right now everything just feels cold and wet. Yeah, I should have blended the banana first. I nearly forgot to add the banana. That's why it's not as blended. That's okay though, we just gonna mush that in there. I'm gonna use all of this. Yep, right on my scalp. Good job, Toya, good job. Here I am, looking like a character from the ring. I'm gonna need another one of these, so I'm gonna double this up. Well, my hands and body are a mess. My tub is a mess, that looks like throw up. But we shall persevere. I'm gonna apply some heat. Oh wait, am I applying heat? Or am I just leaving it on? I don't remember. You know, it's not as sticky as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be super sticky. It's not that bad. It's bearable. It's like, it's not like, oh my God, it's like, you know. It's good. Just leave it on for an hour to an hour and a half, okay? So I'm gonna leave this on for an hour and I'll be back. I'm back, it's been an hour and I'm gonna rinse my hair. Low key, this is giving me like relaxer PSD vibes. I've done the baking soda test for my low porosity hair just to see what it would do. And based on that test, baking soda is very effective in opening the hair shaft. Now it does mess with the pH balance of the hair, which is around five-ish. So you definitely want to make sure that you're balancing that out. And I believe that's what the apple cider vinegar must be for because they're literally on the opposite side of the scale. Baking soda is incredibly alkaline and apple cider vinegar is incredibly acidic. So put those together and you've got somewhat of a neutralization happening. Okay, at the moment, my hair feels very dry and um, rough. 
bananas everywhere. I've never, never seen my hair look like this, ever, ever. Now on to the max hydration. All right, I am choosing to do the apple cider vinegar rinse only because my scalp needs clarifying. It is, it's problematic. It's, it's one of those scalps that flare up really easy and having all that stuff, that gunk on my scalp, I needed to get it off. First, you're gonna clarify with baking soda, a baking soda rinse or an apple cider vinegar rinse. You can skip this step if you'd like to. I am doing this for only like 20, 30 minutes because I'm running out of daylight and I wanna get this done for you today. It got in my eye, it got in my eye. It's burning, it's okay now, it's okay, it's okay. Ooh, look. I'm being dramatic, but that mask, <laughs> ew. <laughs> Yep, gonna have to shower. Step two, co-wash and detangle. Some people like to do this with a deep conditioner, which I will do today because thanks to you, I have purchased a new product. This is the Babasu and Babasu, Babasu. I hope I'm saying that right. It just sounds like Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. I love it, I love it. I'm not gonna do a humidifier, but I am gonna use this thing and a blow dryer. Okay, now I'm gonna do, rinse this out, do the clay mask. Y'all, thumbs this video up, cause this is, this is a lot of work. <laughs> Step three, clay rinse. We've got the Indian Healing Clay. I just got this just for you guys. We're gonna try that out, I've heard great things. in my hair shout out to me trying not to disturb my makeup too much i have a meeting this is very messy uh it got everywhere the 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 lola treatment got everywhere all over my tub the clay mask got everywhere all over my counter all over my robe okay so normally i think i would do this in the shower however the lighting is too crazy and my equipment keeps the temperature is too high so we're gonna just oh god this is so messy let me see the Ooh, without gel? Wow. And then a leave-in conditioner and gel. All right, so today I've got my water bottle. I've got my leave-in conditioner, honey. This looks scary, looks sticky. It has a lot of honey in it. I've never tried honey on my hair ever, so this makes me nervous. And this is the Mayel Coil Sculpting Custard. Per your request. We're gonna start in the back again. Ugh, so tangly. My hair is way more tangly than normal. Let's open it first. Here we go. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Hair is soaking wet. Water is getting in my eye. We've got our leave-in. Mm. We're gonna put our custard on. Open, damn it. What do you wanna open? Nothing, Google. Oh, okay. Finally. This is what it looks like, by the way, the custard. Whoa. Ooh, I mean, it feels nice going on. It just looks like my hair is frizzy. I don't know. This might be the wrong combination of products. Okay, I'm gonna try aloe vera and ego styler on the other side. Aloe vera gel. So aloe vera gel, definitely not as hydrating as the Camilla Rose. However, it doesn't leave a cast. Eco Styler. Here we go. Eco Styler, give me life. Bring Zoe back. There's still banana. Why is Eco Styler giving me more life than this custard? Like, this is disrespectful. This is disappointing. Like, even look at the... 
Am I gonna have to return this custard? Like obviously it's a lot more hydrating. Okay, so now we're gonna try the Camilla Rose, which has more hydration than the gel, the aloe vera gel, and the Eco Styler. Is it Camilla or Camellia? It's Camille. Camille Rose. Reading is fundamental. Yeah, this is just giving me soap vibe. Yeah, just, you guys see that? Like, in comparison? Eco Styler on top of that. It sounds like I have soap in my hair. But it still looks better with the Eco Styler. One more test, one more test. Let's try curly custard with the aloe vera. Aloe vera. I mean, some people just use aloe vera gel, but it's very clear that this is not going to hold my hair down. And the, the custard. On top. It's... Ooh, it looks like soap. See, this is why, I mean, I am just happy that I'm not obsessed with definition because this would drive me crazy. Oil. Let me try oil and eco set. That's like two sealants. But will it work? Now, oil and water don't mix. I'm aware of that, but one of you guys suggested this. So maybe I'm just missing out. Oil. Okay, the oil feels nice on the hair though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I feel like it's smoothing the hair out. Now we're gonna do what seems like contrary to science, but. Um, honestly? No, aloe vera and gel is better. This is clearly creating some kind of foam. What is that on my ear? Ew. I'm just gonna keep going with this Camille Rose and it, it will be what it is. All right, I definitely feel like shaking it helps. It's as good as I can do, guys. Okay, this thing is really hot. So I'm alternating between cool and warm. I don't have a diffuser. I wish that I did. I don't have a sit under dryer. I wish that I did. And I don't want to do the banding method right now. So, okay. I'm done. I am done. I'm done, done, done. I am done. I'm I'm still waiting for my hair to dry. I don't have a sit under dryer. I don't have a diffuser. That hot thing is getting too hot. This is the second time around. My blow dryer, my fire alarm just went off. Like it literally went off. I'm done. Um I'm I'm tired of curl chasing at this point. No, nah, for real. It looks like a wig. <laughs> that thing it's is so weird because like I'm that's tight. Like I'm not really feeling it. I think this is cold blooded. It know. has like a it has like a, it's locks, but it's not locks. Like because it's coils, but it like it's tight. I guess I'm not used to seeing she, definition I'm, in my hair, yeah. and then also the first time I did it, I feel like it was more defined. I feel like this was more frizzy, and I guess because I'm thinking in the mindset of like. Did you do this individually, or did your hair do this itself? It just did it itself. Yo, your hair is more curly than I thought it was. It's called the max maximum hydration yeah, method. Need to do this to Da Vinci's hair. So a couple of things: the max hydration method is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I started at 11 a.m. It is now. 620. That's like seven and a half hours going on eight hours soon. I cannot, I cannot spend eight hours in in a sense of she's overthinking it, but it's because she just got done with it. No, listen, it listen. In the in a sense of like overall, do I like the style? Yes. But in a sense of like people are like, this is gonna give you the most definition, la da 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 da. I feel like I got better definition the first time. Okay, before I continue on, I do want to say that apparently the max hydration method you're supposed to do for 30 days, but you're supposed to skip the Cherry Lola caramel step and then kind of just move on to the other. And some people do it for like, some people say seven days, some people say 30 days. I really don't know. I don't think for me this is practical to do every day. Like I've learned my lesson from the wash and go video. <laughs> you know what it is? I don't like this part. Bye. 
I like full afros. Okay, okay. In the middle part, and I think that's just because of the weight of everything. Because in the middle part, it is a little bit of the Simpsons that do with the. the yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, like right here. I don't like but, that. But it could be the products that I use as well. It could be the products because honey is a humectant. It is gonna bring in moisture to the hair. However, as of right now, it it does not feel good. I'm just being completely honest. It feels dry and like I'm used to having low porosity hair which is a smoother hair shaft and so I feel like detangling and everything is a little bit easier it's like you ever see like a cricket or something like up close like a fly where they have like the like the hair on the legs and they're like rubbing it together like that's how my hair feels it feels like it's sticking it's like rubbing in a wrong way. And this must be what it feels like to have your cuticle raised. I hope you had a good time. I hope you had a good laugh. This is just for fun. I love my hair. I, you know, it's, I have the methods that I use that work for me. I love to experiment though. And I love your feedback. So subscribe, check out my videos on the side here. I have plenty more where that came from. And I will update you guys on this hydration method unless you guys don't care to see it. So yeah, that's it. I love ya. Mwah.